Salesforce certified nonprofit cloud consultant exam updated dumps are the best material for you to study. Share some Salesforce nonprofit cloud consultant exam dumps here. 1. A nonprofit organization wants the 15th of the month listed as the close date for all recurring donations and has selected the 15th in the day of the month pick list. In reviewing recurring donation opportunities it is found that some of the opportunities have close dates at the end of the month. Which action should the consultant take to troubleshoot this issue? A. Check the recurring donation batch size. B. Check the error log. C. Check if the always use last day of the month field is selected. D. Check if the custom installment record was modified. 2. A nonprofit organization provides case management to its clients. There is a requirement for a score to be automatically assigned to each client based on several factors such as age, income and number of health conditions. The nonprofit also wants to automate the creation and assignment of follow-up tasks related to the client. Which combination of functions should the consultant recommend? A. Activities and customizable roll-ups B. Volunteer recurrence and customizable roll-ups C. Engagement plans and levels D. Volunteer Wizard and Reports. 3. A nonprofit organization needs an audit trial of metadata changes over time and the ability to develop, test, and a release project independent of other projects in development. Which development model should be chosen? A. Application development, B. Org development, C. Package Development D. Change Set Development 4. A nonprofit organization wants to add any donor who gives to its capital fund to the capital campaign. Which two steps should be taken to accomplish this? A. Upload a list of all donors as campaign members using the Data Import Wizard B. Enable the automatic campaign member management in NPSP settings. C. Create a trigger that automatically adds any donor as a campaign member. D. Populate the primary campaign source field on the opportunity record. 5. A nonprofit organization has a large volume of contacts, organizations, and address records. The organization wants to migrate all of its data into its NPSP org. What are two considerations? Choose two answers. A. Address verification only works with the one-to-one -one and individual, bucket, account models. B. Tracking addresses with the address object may introduce more complexity. C. Migrating all historical address information impacts system data storage. D. There is a limit of three addresses per contact or organization that can be migrated into NPSP. 6. A nonprofit organization had enabled person accounts in its org and now wants to install NPSP. The nonprofit organization wants to completely remove all person account features. What should the nonprofit organization consider? A. Apply for a new Salesforce organization and request a license transfer. B. Use the NPSP conversion utility tool. C. Ensure the person account record type is selected as the household record type in NPSP settings. D. Create a case in Salesforce to completely remove the person account record type. 7. A nonprofit client wants to connect directly to other nonprofits using Salesforce who have a very similar business use case. Which resource is designed for this purpose? A. 
Power of Us Hub Solution Exchange B. Salesforce.org website C. Trailblazer Community User Group D. App Exchange 8. A system administrator encounters an error at runtime that a record couldn't be updated when a customizable rollup ran. What should the consultant check? A. If the target field exists. B. If the target field is a NPSP field. C. If the target field has a validation rule. D. If the target object is a custom object. 9. A nonprofit organization has white papers, case studies, and impact reports on its website. The organization wants to track website visitors who download those assets. Once tracked, the organization wants to pursue the visitor as a constituent. Which solution should be considered? A. Campaigns B. Community Cloud C. Par. D. Salesforce DMP 10. A consultant is setting up a governance framework as part of a nonprofit organization implementation. Which three elements should be included in a Salesforce recommended governance structure? Choose three answers A. Agile methodology B. Release management C. Rules of engagement D. Center of excellence E. Design standards